Disclaimer. This review features a collectible item and it's for adult collectors ages 13 and up only. It is not intended for children. So if you are age 13 or below, please stop watching this video now. Thank you. Lydia here and welcome back to a new due review on my channel. So today as you can see we are doing a review on a uh, quite an older release of uh, LOL Surprise OMG dolls and this is here actually Downtown BB. Now there's a teeny tiny bit of a uh, I'm going to call it a uh, background story um, to this uh, how uh, and why I'm only reviewing her now and why I did get her so late after she was released because I'm pretty sure she was released like I I don't know exactly but I maybe two years ago but I may be wrong I'm I'm completely lost when it comes to the OMG releases because they released just so so many dolls um, ever since they appeared in 2019 if I'm correct um, but yeah, so Downtown BB, uh, I really really loved her ever since um, I saw her, but first she was only released like in one of those huge huge packs with another OMG doll and a bunch of the little tots and little um, Lord Surprise figurines and that's why I did not get her and uh, you know, after that they released her separately as this and uh, that's why she's still in, in this older blind box style so I'm keeping my fingers crossed that she has a decent face mold and uh, you know after she came here she was like expensive like really expensive and uh, that's why I never got her now finally I was able to find her on sale like finally <laughs> and uh, you know I had some money on me and when I saw it that she went finally on sale I just grabbed one of the boxes because there were like quite a few there in the store and uh, that's how I only got her now. And uh, yeah, that's just uh, the story how, how uh, I, I uh, got her. And you know, sh since then she didn't get like a newer type of release where you can actually see the doll in the box. Maybe they will eventually re-release her. But uh, you know, until then I, I have finally uh, have her like original release. And again, keeping my fingers crossed that she has a decent face. Up because like this I cannot uh, see it but I'm just glad that I finally have her in my collection there was just something about her that really grabbed me I think it was her hair color and her makeup but you guys will be able to see uh, that as well when I unbox her so first off let's take a closer look at this older style box and after that I will unbox her and um, we'll see how cool she is so here is the box which is this uh, Kind of like a green, mintish green color, and also has like this kind of this camo-like uh, design to it, both on the green side and on this black and white and gray side, because that's kind of one of her colors. And you can kind of, as you can see, there's this silhouette of her, and you can kind of see how uh, she looks like, or at least you know the box art for her. And she also has like camo pants, so that's why. They included the camo um, design on the box as well. It says a lot surprise OMG outrageous millionaire girls and those are the the price tag so that was the like the original color and uh, not color uh, original price and this is the like the sale price. Uh, it's in uh, lay because you know I'm from Romania um, but you can convert that if you wanted to see how uh, expensive she was here and it says uh, 20 surprises, unbox fashions, dress me, strut your stuff and reusable dressing room so yes the box um, converts into this um, kind of like a room or dressing room for her and over here it also says that package becomes a playset so basically what I said I'm a fashion doll and there's her name downtown BB on set and it says start here so you were supposed to like it's one of those sliding uh, type of uh, boxes. This is the side, it says Downtown BB and we have more of that camo 
uh, design on it. It's just red and pink and white here on the side. And this is the back of the box. Again, it says 20 surprises. OMG, we sisters trot fear style and stand out from the crowd because we are here to surprise the world. And it says the same thing in different languages. And we here see the silhouette of the other girls that were like... Um, so it's kind of like a re-release, I guess, because in that huge set that I was talking about, she was there with Uptown Girl, which is also, I really, really like her, but you know, when I had to choose between these two, I of course picked up uh, Downtown BB, and uh, 24K DJ was also uh, included in this, like, kind of like a separate um, series that they released, or re-released these three girls, because she was kind of a hard to find um, doll as well. She wasn't like my one of my favorites, so um, I'm not that interested in her. And here on the side we have her little sister, says hey sis. And uh, yeah, the OMG doll looks really really uh, similar to her um, from what I saw online. And uh, I do not have the little sister and I don't know the name of her, I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so that's about it for the box of this doll. Now let me just unbox her and again keep your again guys keep your uh, fingers crossed so that she will have a decent um, face up with no uh, paint uh, errors or anything like that sort and I'll be right back with the doll and all her stuff and accessories that she comes with. And I'm back and I have unboxed my downtown BB over here and she is really stylish really um, I don't know, just a really sassy girl, I guess I could say that. And uh, yeah, I really, really love her, her beautiful hair and the makeup and her clothes as well. I think she is really uh, awesome. Just a heads up, when I come to her hair, uh, a lot of her hair actually like came out. So I'm not sure if, uh, you know, those uh, hair uh, strands or uh, hair pieces, whatever you want to call them, um, wasn't like fully rooted or... Uh, I don't know what they did with her, or is it maybe just my doll, but just be careful when you um, unbox her or have her that uh, you don't lose a lot of her hair because you don't want your doll to get bald. Um, but yeah, besides that, here she is, and uh, before we um, get to know her a little bit more better and more uh, closer, uh, I just wanted to show you guys what she comes with. So, um, basically... I'm going to show you the little stuff and after that I want to show you guys the box a little bit too because this is uh, the old style box still and it has like this dressing room um, playset thing inside. So a lot of her clothes uh, or clothing pieces uh, came in these little plastic boxes that we uh, saw with uh, you know previous like older released um, OMGs so this is a head box. I do not remember exactly what came in the head box actually uh, because she does not have a hat obviously but regardless it's a little red really nice shiny box it says lol surprise omg on it and this is the shoe box now i do know that her shoes came in this and it is as you can see here it says uh, the size of the shoe and it says b plus w boots and um, that's because it's black and white. The shoes are are not the same color as you can see. And this one is a kind of see-through as you can see. Black or dark grey box with a silver top. And it does say uh, Lord Surprise OMG on it. Now she of course came with a comb which is also red. It says Lol OMG on it as you can see. Is the usual uh, OMG comb that we always get with these dolls and some of her clothing pieces uh, I think her jacket and I think also her pants were on um, these uh, classic uh, LOL OMG hangers one of them is as you can see see-through uh, dark gray or black and this one is a red one I think these are really fun I, I honestly I prefer them uh, these opposed to the you know the usual uh, type of hangers we see with dolls or you know in the human world as well 
and uh, a bunch of her clothing pieces and accessories too, like her sunglasses, purse, um, jewelry, came wrapped in these red and pink, like camo, um, camo style, camo type uh, of uh, wrapping papers. And I think her purse was actually in this one, this little bag, and the other stuff were wrapped in these these ones I think they are really awesome I always keep these little bags even though I don't really use them for anything I just like to keep them because I think it's just really fun I really like this one especially uh, top won't stop different is beautiful can't stop won't stop um, big city dress uh, dress for your lady um, famous yes that's what it says so yeah really just really uh, fun little bags and wrapping paper and whatnot now she also comes with a little um, magazine because these dolls come with little magazines it says fashion bb magazine and it says fall uh, 20 so it's from 2022 as i said before this doll came out a uh, quite a long time ago i just got her on sale so that's why i am reviewing her now and it says what's your star sign this is how it looks in the back it's like a pinkish uh, color it's not red and when i open it inside we have a picture of her and we know that now that her sign is capricorn and it says uh, the city lights are aligned today is the day to try something daring and there is the constellation for the capricorn and uh, you know the dates from when the star star, star sign is um uh, is uh, valid or you know from which uh, date uh, you were supposed to be born to be a Capricorn and yeah and uh, last but not least of course she comes with a let me just remove her a stand and this is also a beautiful red just, just like her convos and it's a really nice uh, quality stand as well and this one still comes with these older type of uh, little sitting um, chair piece things if you want to make her sit oops uh, if you want to make her sit you can put this exchange the waist holder part and put this on and you can make her sit down and it does not come with a extra of these uh, waist holder parts so i think the older ones did not have that or mine is just i don't know somehow missing that piece now moving on to her um, box and the uh, actual like playset part. Um, this is also like a dressing room, uh, which of course we've seen before with the other um, little OMG dolls. So there is this part which is kind of like a, a room and it is not red, it is like a dark pink. Uh, I mean the color of the walls. You can see two light bulbs hanging over there. And over here we have some... Um, like pictures I guess um, they're kind of like fashion designs and and uh, I don't know just inspirational little boards and on this side we have some more of those posters and uh, like a chair over here as well a really weird looking chair if you ask me but it's kind of um, in my opinion it's kind of uh, empty as you can see so um, she does not have the most uh, like uh, coolest or the most interesting one now we have this door over here with some clothes hanging from it and it says dressing room in different uh, languages here is her little sister and uh, she says strut your stuff and if i move this door on this side we see a hanger and one of the that's actually the shoe box that she came with and there is also this uh, mirror which seems kind of foggy because you have to peel off and it shows you there down there if you want to make it like look like a real uh, mirror you can kind of see my reflection over there um, but yeah so that's the the playset part of the box and on this part where you were supposed to like pull this um, side out we get to see her full artwork which is really cute in my opinion and up here it says downtown BB and hashtag inspo my city aesthetic uh, of the moment streetwear and style tip when in doubt um, mix and match and yeah her whole look and 
clothes are really like mix and match, uh, like her boots for example or shoes. And just overall her whole style with the, the camo and the colors. And uh, that's why I fell in love with this doll because I think it's just really really awesome and uh, she is mixing my favorite colors as well. So yeah, um, she is really cool and uh, that is uh, her box and the inside of the Now moving box. on to the actual doll, um, when I was showing you guys her accessories I totally forgot about her um, purse or little bag that she comes with. So I wanted to show you this first. So this is how it looks. Again it mixes the black, white and red colors. And it's basically kind of like a little suitcase, I guess. With the little strap in the front and the buckle. And she can actually like, hold it from um, like uh, the, this handle. And it also has this uh, uh, larger like strap, but it's it's made to look like it's chains, as you can see. They aren't like actually chains; they, they are plastic, but it looks really cool. And you can open it. This is how it looks from the inside. You can put some small stuff in there, I don't know, makeup or uh, stuff like that. Doll money <laughs> and whatever you want to. But yeah, I think it is really uh, cute and it fits her whole uh, look. And also her other like accessory that I like to keep on the doll is the sunglasses. Now as you can see, um, let me just move the camera a little bit closer, there we go. So this is how the sunglasses look on her face uh, and it's one of those types that do not, do not cover up her uh, whole uh, like the eyes um, but it is a pretty simple red one and it's kind of see-through as well let me just take it off if I can with one hand there we go so this is how the sunglasses look pretty shiny as you can see <laughs> the light shines nicely on them and this is how it looks uh, from the side if my camera would just focus on them and not on the doll but yeah, uh, pretty simple uh, in my opinion but it still fits um, the doll and her uh, colors now let's take a closer look at her so starting off with downtown BB's face, sorry about the glare guys but as you can see she has those beautiful uh, large round lol uh, surprise eyes and her eye color is brown now around her eye we have a faint um, well it's not actually around her eye it's just the top lid um, this really faint red uh, makeup a little bit of a pinkish uh, hint in there too and uh, from what I can tell the lower part does not have any uh, makeup so she has really a, a uh, simple uh, makeup but I really really love her lips and I, that, I think that's what it really like grabbed me uh, when it came to this doll it's that her lips are black and white but as you can see it's made kind of like a, um, a checkerboard or, or something like that that's what it reminds me of and I think it's really really cool and she also has rosy cheeks but on this side of her cheek she has a little black broken heart and I don't know why, but this broken heart simple sim uh, symbol seems to be like, um, I don't know, they kind of have a, a meaning or something with the LOL uh, OMG dolls, because a lot of them have um, broken heart uh, um, related stuff on them. Don't know what's up with that. Uh, her eyebrows are actually dark blue, as you can see, and on this side she has a little bit of a uh, you know fashion um, shave thing in her eyebrow which I think is really uh, cute now um, her hair is mostly a dark blue mixed with a lighter blue and I'm not sure if that shows up well on camera but maybe over here on the side you can see better the two shades of blue um, one of the shades is like so dark that it actually like kind of shows up on camera as black but trust me it is a dark blue now in the front she has uh, bangs, as you can see, and, but they are quite short because they do not cover up her uh, eyebrows. And she also has these two uh, quite long strands of hair here in the front. And these are not gelled, as you can see, which I'm really glad because I really like it when they do, do not put any uh, product in their hair. And let me just turn her around. Here in the back she actually has more of the dark blue in her hair. And as you can see her hair is pulled into this 
pigtails which are really really long as you can see it just goes down to the ground basically and I really like it her hair is really really soft and it really nicely and thickly rooted as you can see it's really um, really soft to the touch really just great quality hair and I'm pretty sure if you would let her hair loose I do not want to do that but if you let her hair loose uh, I'm pretty sure it would uh, reach the ground because um, of just how um, long it is and I really uh, like it now moving on to um, some of her jewelry um, because she does have these giant uh, golden shiny hoop earrings this is on one side and the other side is the same looking but on this side she actually has a little lock uh, hanging from her hoop earring uh, which can uh, kind of move freely as you can see between those two little um, bumpy pieces that's on the earring and I do think that's uh, really just a cute little uh, extra on the earrings I really like it now uh, moving down to her outfit so first off she comes with this uh, quite short sleeved or kind of three quarters three quarters uh, sleeved actually a little jacket and as you can see again it's like a mix and match of black red and also um, the black and white uh, checkered fabric and this is how it looks on the other side I think it's really fun in the front we have a golden colored uh, fake zipper which is not a um, usual color usually um, um, zippers are colored like uh, silver and if I can show it to you guys from the back in the back is just simple black as you can see it's quite a short one but it's still really fashionable now underneath um, she has a really cute uh, top and as you can see it has this really like interesting side cut and it's made out of two colors black and white but the trimming uh, below is red and um, on this side it actually only has like a black strap as you can see so it's sleeveless while the other side does have a sleeve and it's this if my camera will just there we go is this uh, red um, like fishnet material and yeah that goes underneath the jacket so yeah it's a really interesting little piece and this um, top actually has like a uh, bottom piece as well which is kind of looks like a um, what's it called it's like a bus bicycle uh, shorts I think that's the correct name and by the way the material is like really stretchy and feels the same as uh, bicycle shorts usually have that that um, material now I do not want to take her this pants off to uh, be able to show that uh, shorts to you guys but I will insert a picture over here and uh, you will be able to see how she looks without her um, jacket and without her uh, camo pants if you are interested so yeah if you don't do not like the the long pants or you want to make her look a little bit more sporty you can just uh, simply take these pants off and uh, display her in her uh, little shorts which I think it's such a fun uh, little uh, I don't know uh, extra to add to the doll now while we are here I wanted to show you her beautiful long nails and these are again mix and match as well mixed up because as you can see one of the nails is black the other one white black white black white that's how they go on both sides she also has a bracelet on this side which is white and has a golden chain uh, painted on it I don't know if you guys can see that there we go a little bit more better and uh, yeah so really cool now moving down to her pants which are long and have this uh, greenish brown gray uh, camo um, material to it and it feels like a really good type of material too uh, almost kind of the materials that um, hold back um, water but I don't think they are they just kind of look like it on the sides uh, she has a red line going down a red ribbon um, 
the bottom of the pants and the top is still kind of uh, pulled together with a um, elastic piece. There's also like a little fake button over there if you can see. And she also comes with a uh, belt which has this uh, um, buckle, I guess I could say it, a buckle that you have to just uh, clip together here at the top, but I wasn't successful with that. I wasn't able to put this little peg in there, in that hole, and I honestly don't want to force it because I'm afraid that I'm going to break it since it's made out of plastic. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can do that, but um, I don't know, I just like it uh, to hang it like loose like this. That way you can easily take the pants off too if you wanted to. So yes, you can actually take off the belt if you uh, wanted to or if you are uh, bothered by it. Really cool. And uh, last but not least, of course, her boots, which are mismatched as we saw before. One of them is black with some white uh, stripes and the other one is white with some black stripes. By the way, I just noticed that the white stripe on this part is actually um, more larger than the black one on this one. I don't know what's up with that. And we have a little um, red buckles in the front. This is how they look from the back. And the sole of the shoe kind of uh, blends into the um, stand because it is red, as you can see. But you know, it still looks really cool. I really uh, like it. And you know, just overall her whole look, I really like. She's really uh, a pretty doll, in my opinion. And that's about it for this review of a Downtown BB for, from the LOL Surprise OMG um, accessories. I'm not sure what to call it, because as I said before, she was released in like a larger pack first, then re-released in this form. And I'm pretty sure she will eventually get a re-release again, but with uh, less stuff uh, that she comes with now. So I'm really glad that I was able to uh, grab her in this original uh, release. And if you liked my review, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below what do you think of her, what do you think of her whole look, uh, her face, uh, her hair, whatever you want to, uh, really. And uh, if you like my video, uh, you can also go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more uh, LOL OMG and Twins and other kind of toy and door reviews as well. I also have a Facebook page, the link will appear on the screen and you can go ahead and like my page if you haven't done that yet. You can get notifications over there whenever I upload something or uh, just overall some other sneak peeks and um, I even post photos of stuff that I do not uh, review on the channel but you know I still uh, receive and um, yeah guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!